Hello, everyone. I want to talk about sampling distribution of a proportion now by StackCrunch, of course. So let me read this uh, question. Assume only 85% of people actually show up for their flight on time. Because of this, airlines tend to overbook flights. A random sample of 250 booked passengers is taken in whether or not they showed up on time is recorded for each of them. First one, what is the probability that at least 90% of them show up for their flight on time? So let us use, okay, this is, This is P, population proportion, right? Okay. Uh, this is a sample size, which is N. Okay. Now we want to know about the probability. Okay. P hat. And uh, what is the probability that at least 90%? We should know what at least means. At least means we did that so many times in the class. So at least means it's greater than or equal to, right? So greater or equal to 90%, we make 90%, it's okay. But if we change that, we can say that that's small, like p hat greater or equal to 0 0.9, right? Okay. Now we want to change it to z score. Okay. So here we have a z score formula, which is x minus mu over sigma. Right, this section sampling distribution proportion we using z score p hat minus mu sub p hat over sigma sub p hat. Okay, now uh, p hat, let me write down here p hat. Then what is the mu sub p hat, which is p, okay, by the formula, and sigma sub p hat, which is square root p times one minus p over n inside the square root, right? So we're gonna use the formula. So it's greater or equal to p hat, which is 0.9, we are using this number as p, p hat. So p hat is 0.9 minus p, which is 0.85. Okay, so this is 0.85. Now, over square root, P, which is 0.85, one minus 0.85 over N, which is 250, okay? Now, I want to know about numerator. Let me use the calculator. So numerator has 0.9 minus point, yeah, it's easier to calculate. It's a point zero five. We know that, and um, denominator is a little bit complicated. So let us do one by one. Point eight five times one minus point eight five, and hit enter and divide by two fifty. Hit enter, and then we do. 
second and square root and second answer. Okay, then this will be point zero two two six. Okay. Then uh, we have a point zero five divided by the answer, second and answer. Then we get this will be G score, which is 2.21. Okay, so we will use step crunch with this G score, 2.1. Okay, so 2.21, let me memorize. Okay, let's go to step crunch, 2.21. 2.21, 2 2.21, 2 2.21, <laughs> it takes time. All right, so let's click stack and, <laughs> and calculators. And there is no more, okay, so let me pause, so stack, Stack, calculators, no more. Click. Okay. Now, uh, we will use Z score. So, Z score by the property mean is zero, standard deviation is the one. And this will be Z. Okay. And we're gonna make a greater or equal to, right? Because at least 90%, right? So we do greater or equal to, and G score was 2.21, right? So let's type 2.21, 2.21, okay, let's compute. So this will be answer. So probability, we're gonna make four decimal places, right? So this will be 0 0.0136 because we do round up. The fifth decimal places is the five round up, right? So round up. Okay, so it's a point uh, 0 0.0136. Okay, let's go back. 0 0.0136. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so let me see here. Oh, it's all gone. Oh, oh, I do not do this. Share screen. Uh, oh, it's all gone. Sorry about that. So this is point uh I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> point zero one three six. Point zero one three six. Point zero one three six okay the answer only answer sorry about that it's all gone <laughs> all right now second one uh is 82 percent on unusually low percentage of a booked passengers to be on time for their flight how might this impact the airlines so let us, uh, oh, you did not see that. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. So I just read the second one is 82% on unusually low percentage of booked passengers to be on time for their 
flight. How might this impact the airlines, right? So 85%, okay, this is a P. So let us denote the PC here. Which is 0.85, okay? And simple size, let's talk, let's just see simple size, which is 250. So simple size is 250, okay? Now 82%, so we're gonna make probability he had simple proportion. So simple proportion, we estimate about the population proportion, right? It's less than or equal to 0.82. Okay, now uh, we do, we're gonna find the Z score. So this will be Z. 0.82 will be P hat. So once again, P hat, let me just write down for uh, formula directly. Sigma sub P hat, which is P one minus P over N. This will be P hat 0.82 minus P, which is 0.85. Divide by, uh, I should have, uh, have a number from there earlier, right? Mm. So P, which is 0.85, and 1 minus P, which is 0.85, over N, which is 250. Okay, so that is... Uh, yeah, it's all gone, so I have to do again <laughs> my calculator. 0.82 minus 0.85. We know that this is negative. 0 0.03 over, so 0.85 minus, oops, <laughs> times 1 minus 0.85. <laughs> and divide by 250. And uh, square, uh, make a square root, square root of uh, the answer. So then point zero two two six. Yeah, I remember this number, point two zero two two six. Right. All right. Then uh, negative point uh, point. 0, 0.3 divided by the answer, then we get the probability, which is negative 1.3. I get uh, 1.3284, right? So we need G score is two decimal places. So I want to round up which is 1.33, so let me write down, okay? Now, it will be gone, this one, right? So Z is less than or equal to negative 1.33, so let's do stack crunch, negative 1.33. Negative 1.33. <laughs> Let me type this one, negative 1.33. <laughs> 1.33. Okay, let me type this one and then I'm going to explain. The, uh, we need to change the inequality symbol here, right? Okay, smaller, uh, less than or equal to. Okay, and compute. Okay, this will be. So we are using G score here. So the answer is 0 0.0918 again, right? Because we do round up, right? 
the probability always uh, gives the uh, answer for the small places because tiny number between zero to one, okay? So 0 0.0918. So, okay, I need to go back. Where? Here. <laughs> Here. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Uh, 0 0.09. <laughs> I need to write it down somewhere. It's hard to remember. <laughs> 0 0.0918. Okay. Now. Uh, I need to go back to share screen here, right? Hmm. So the answer will be 0 0.0918, okay? Sorry, it, it's gone, everything. Now, how might this impact the airlines, is it unusual? We're not done yet, right? So unusual, we talked about before. So unusual is like a, a percentage wise, uh, is less than or equal to Uh, how about this, Prob the probability, probability, ability is uh, unusual that, okay, that is less than or equal to 5%. Okay, so that, oops, not the 50%, 5%. So that means 0 0.05 is the same as, okay. So is it 0 0.0918 is less than or equal to 0 0.05? It's 9%, nine, 9%, right? So it's greater than 5%, so we're gonna say that there is there is no no evidence that the percent oops, percent percentage of all booked passengers that show up on time for their flight. This is change it. What was our population proportion? It's 85%, right? So 85%. 85%. Okay. So there is no evidence that the percentage of all booked passengers that show up on time for their flight has changed from 85%. Okay, I hope this helps you. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.